Fred is in. Field in line for the Jamaica Cup. 2022. They're off for the Jamaica Cup. Fair start. King Arthur gets a good one. The filly, Atomica, tugging for her head. Blue Vinyl doing the same on the outside. I Am Fred is right against the rail. These are tracked up now by a miniature man racing in behind the front runners. Calculus is kept off the fractions with Crimson on the rail. Hovercraft toward the back and Classical Orb left all alone at the back as the filly, Atomica, takes the lead. That's where she wants to be, right on the rail with that lead. Blue Vinyl pressing on the outside. A half a length separates them as they leave the seven and take to the back stretch. I Am Fred is watching them close enough in third as they run toward the final six. Two lengths back to King Arthur, coasting along in fourth. Calculus is a further three and a half back as they leave the six. A gap opens up to Miniature Man. A gap also to Hovercraft. Crimson toward the back and Classical Orb best forgotten. The Jamaica Cup field arrive at the five and Atomica now opens up a length and a half. Blue Vinyl trying to stay with her. In behind them, I Am Fred needs to find some five lengths to get to Atomica as they charge away inside the final half mile. King Arthur needs to do more running back in fourth. Calculus is with a lot to do. Miniature Man races ahead of Crimson. Hovercraft has a mountain to climb and Classical Orb calls Areca as they make the way now inside the final three furlongs and running toward the 516th. It's the Super Philly, Atomica with that lead. She has shrugged off the attentions of Blue Vinyl on her ride. Atomica comes into the lane and now Dane Dawkins calls for the stick in the left hand. She drifts just off the fence toward mid-track. It is Atomica, the derby winner, who holds the upper hand. Atomica now, the rider, changing the stick to the right hand. She darts back down to the rail, but she has a commanding advantage. It is Atomica, the nuclear-powered Philly, is inside the final six. This is the new queen of local racing. Atomica wins the Jamaica Cup by a gap. Crimson is second. Miniature Man is third. Hovercraft looks to be fourth over Blue Vinyl.
In the winner's enclosure, the unofficial winner of race number nine, the second running of the Jamaica Cup, number eight, Atomica, a three-year-old chestnut filly by Nuclear Wayne, Honky Tonkville by Reparation, Red Carl Samuda OD. Own Oak Ridge Farms, trained Gary Sobrati, the second winner for the rider, devastating Dane Dawkins, the groom, Errol Thomas. Second, number three, Crimson. Third, number two, Miniature Man. Fourth, number nine, Hovercraft. And fifth, number 10, Blue Vinyl. Final time for 1900 meters, 157 and a three. That's a new track record and also a new stakes record. to bookend uh, Atomical success in uh, the big race today at Kimanas Park. Dane Dawkins is with the connections. Dane, you first, you have to go. Uh, well, take me from the gate. I get an early break. I just break on Osla Road for the first furlong. Notice Blue Vinyl pushing me right down on the rails. I don't really matter him. I just hold my ground and keep my composure. Go to the seven furlong now. Leaving the seven furlong to the Five furlong, I ask her, say, go mama, this is, remember this is the derby, ride it, like, run like how you run. I ask her, she responded, coming to the straight, and I asked her again, give her a couple struck out of the left hand stick, she kind of served, I correct her, change my stick, and I ride her, and she responded a lot. Comprehensive answer, nothing else to ask you, congratulations again, very well done, very, co very, well, very professionally done, congratulations Dane. Thanks. All right, so Dane leaves the shot. Uh, sharing the umbrella, of course, two generations of Webbies. Uh, Nicholas, the son, of course, Don in the middle, and Gary, the trainer. Gary, let me start with you. Uh, well, today was, we, we saw a flight line in the Breeders' Cup a week ago. This was a flight line-esque performance by a filly that is a gift that keeps on giving. Yeah, she's a special horse. I mean, Don said to me, I've never seen you so speechless. And I said, well, this is why I'm speechless, because this filly is just, just proving everything better than what our expectations are. I mean, she three, three, three seconds off the track record today, it shows you what type of horse she is. Did she come out of the Gold Cup well? Because given the rough passage that she had, one would have thought that she would have had a few nicks. Did she come out well, and what did you have to she correct for today? She came out of the Gold Cup very well. She ate out, and she looked very happy. No injuries. I was, I was really worried about that. That's why I was thinking not running in this race today. But um, everything seemed to work out for her, and you know we decided a couple of weeks ago to run, and she ran. It was so straightforward. Was that what you discussed with your jockey? Just get her out in front. Get her out. Who want come? Come? Who want dead? Dead? Let's go. Yeah, and of course, three weeks to the big one, the Mute Mile. What's the preparation plan for her between now and then? Not much training. She's already fit. We just need to maintain what we have and just keep get her back happy and you know rehydrate her and get her back. Happy for the race. All right, thank you. Could you shift them, but you have to hold the umbrella for Don Webby. Uh, come now, Don. I, I All right, Don, <laughs> we, we've <laughs> spoken about this horse this season. You've been yes. emotional. Uh, of course, it, her big triumph earlier this season came in uh, days after your father passed. And uh, this is the crowning moment of a very long association with racing, not for yourself only, but for the Webby family. Talk to me about this special filly, putting on a performance like this in this big race today. Why, George? Um when I came out on the track for the first time in my life, I've seen Gary Sabrati basically speechless. And I guess that sums it up in terms of that performance. It is a remarkable performance. And in fact, I think that's the best performance I've seen from Atomica. Um, you, 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 you mentioned flight line a while ago. And you know, these special horses, when they move, it's almost effortless. I mean, when you look on the back stretch when she was taking the pace, it was like just effortless, you know, and um, 
Uh, you know, I'm lost for words. She's just a really, really special horse. And I'm blessed to own a horse like that in my lifetime. And I'm going to say the obvious now, Don, but this has to be your greatest year in racing. It is by far the greatest year in racing. You know, I said to Gary, because a lot of people were disappointed for the, with the Gold Cup, but I saw what happened. I mean, they really gave her a rough ride. Um, and I said, you know something, Trina, don't worry yourself. I've won the derby. That was my target for the year, my ambition. Anything else that comes my way, I'd be happy. You know, um, and, and for the jockey, you know, you get all of these calls, oh, what a poor ride, a poor ride. I said, listen, this jockey has won the derby for me, and I'm not going to take him off at all. Because, um, you know, everybody can make a mistake, and everybody can have a bad day. And as you see today, he, wrote, he gave her a perfect, perfect ride. Um, you, you know, when I was in the, in the winner's winning circle, um, I looked and see further and beyond two minutes for the track record. And I said to the trainer, I, I'd love to break the track record. He said, Don, let us try and win first. Yeah, yeah. And then when you say three seconds after the track record, I guess that sums it up. She's just super, super special. Excellent. Nicholas, if you could just slide over and give me a quick word. Uh, your, your grandfather has been in this game with success, your father with success. You're associated with your father's success, as Don was with uh, the, 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 the dearly departed. Uh, what does it mean to you to be associated with a horse, as special as Atomica? Well, it's just a dream to have such a good horse, and we're just proud of her, everything she's accomplished this year. Yeah, the Mute Mile comes up. That's the, 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 the bookend, the climax to what has been the greatest year for the Webby family in racing. Are you measuring ex your expectations, or are you letting your expectations run wild? Well, we're looking forward to it. Um, she won the Derby already, so anything else is a bonus, and, you know, whatever will happen, will happen. She's super special. She's a credit, credit to the Webby family and a credit to racing. Thank you for having her. Thank you. Uh, Don Webby, Nicholas Webby, and before him, Gary Sobrati, the trainer, and Dean Dawkins, the jockey. John, along with Mr. Solomon Sharp, gentlemen, from Australia, and he makes it to Mr. Don Webby, representing the owners of the winner, Oak Ridge Farms.